Hello everyone, uh, sorry it took so long for another video, uh, I hit my final semester of school and then you know I had to get a job so things have been kind of hectic. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update about what's going on with my Mouse 2 project. Uh, I'm going to briefly explain what's going to be in it, you know, kind of explain how it's going to work and you know show some of the features it might have in it. Uh, so let me show you how it's going to work. Um, basically you're going to have a grid just like last time. Uh, this time it'll be 32 by 32. Uh, the original mouse head was 18 by 18, so we got a lot more pixels this time. Um, you're going to have the LED drivers on the bottom, and that's what's going to handle all the colors and all the brightness. And, you know, that's the columns. And you have your shift registers, which are on the right, and that'll pretty much handle applying voltage to the grid. So, kind of like last time, only different this time because instead of lighting up one LED at a time, it's going to light up an entire row at a time, so things should be a lot faster, and because of that, hopefully things will be brighter. So basically how this works is, it takes, it applies voltage to one row, and you know, light, lights up the specific LEDs, then it turns it off, lights up another row, turns on those specific LEDs, turns it off again, and then lights up another row, and turns those on, and it goes through the grid, and then it keeps looping. So yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to work. So let me show you what's going to be in it. Uh, this is an LED from the original mouse head. You know, it's standard RGB LED, 4 pin, 5 millimeters. Uh, this is the new LED. See how much smaller it is? Uh, these things are actually brighter. Uh, they take less voltage, and obviously they're smaller. These things are just pretty much better in every way, so it's going to be great. Uh, here's the LED driver that I was explaining uh, as it ho handles the brightness and you know does all the fancy little things as far as choosing what colors to pick. Uh, this is a shift register. This is what's going to be you know handling the rows and applying the voltage. Uh, I wanted the original mouse head to be modular, but that ended up not happening. This one is well will be. Basically, I have pin headers, and you know, I got the, the female and the male, and basically you plug it in, and you know, you could disconnect things, move things in and out of the mouse head. That's something I wanted. Uh, I have an SD card reader, so you know, because this next one's going to be a lot more data in it, so it's going to have a lot more data, and the SD card should be able to, to handle it. It's just a standard SD card. Um, I'm going to have to be making my own circuit boards and obviously they're going to need to be flexible. This stuff's called Pyrolux and it's pretty much just copper and basically you, you erase the parts of the copper where you don't want you know electricity flow and like I said it's flexible so once it goes in the globe it should fit in there pretty good. Uh, I'm using a new type of wire it's a ribbon cable. I'm using 10 pin just because it was cheap. I got 300 feet for like 30 bucks. So yeah, it's pretty darn cheap. And you know, it's really flexible and you can cut it, pull it apart, you know, and overall it works better. So yeah, that's all the stuff in it. So let me give you an idea about how many LEDs this new one has. Uh, this is actually using the, the new program that I'm making for the new mouse head. So, uh, this is actually be a, a lot smarter than the last one. You know, you could uh, create animations and you could add your own images and everything should be better. So let me just change this to 18 by 18 because that's going to be, uh, that's, that's the old grid. And here it is. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of pixels. It's 324. But, you know, that, that's the old one. Um, let me change this to 32 now. Rerun it. This is how much is going to be in the new one. Uh, as you can see, it, it's, it's pretty much going to be the exact same. Maybe not the exact same, it's going to be a little bit wider. But there's going to be a lot more LEDs 
in the same amount of space as the last mouse head so things should look more vivid and I should be able to get a little bit better pictures than before uh, before I leave uh, just let me I'm just gonna let you know uh, remember none of this stuff is final uh, nothing's complete nothing's done I'm planning on making a lot more how-to videos I couldn't really make that many from the last one because I started making the videos after I created it this new one's gonna be uh, I'm gonna try to make videos while I'm creating it so I should be able to do a lot more how-to videos and hopefully I can help you guys out a little bit better so alright yeah that's about it uh, see you guys later